Thank you for playing this video. We all know that the use of AI is exploding. There's ChatGPT, there's OpenAI, there's Google Gemini. And the next big wave for AI is going to be programming your own applications. I'm Dr. Chris James. I'm author of the book, OpenAI and ChatGPT Programming. By now, you probably use ChatGPT to generate text, to use it as a search engine on steroid, and to interact with it from the command line. You may have also used Microsoft Bing Image Creator. If you haven't, it's great fun to take a quick break. These are really cool tools, um, but the next big wave for AI is going to be integrating AI into applications. We're seeing Salesforce do it. Adobe Photoshop has now integrated it to make editing videos more simpler, but we're going to start seeing lots of custom applications healthcare, finance, supply chain management, customer service. What this means is the demand for AI programmers is going to explode. So your question may be, how do I integrate AI into my programs? That's where this book comes along. OpenAI and ChatGPT programming presents 50 real world examples. The code is written in Python, but it's easy to port to other programming languages that show you how to use OpenAI, create your own images, do text mining, do text generation, right from within your own programs. We'll show you how to create web and cloud-based solutions as well. So how do you get started? First of all, you've probably been to the OpenAI website so you could use ChatGPT. So you need to register, log in, and get an API key to interact from your programs with ChatGPT or DALI, the image generator, you need an API key and then you need a programming environment. Python works great and most programmers already have it installed. Let's take a look at an example. This is a simple Python script, 10 lines of code that interacts with ChatGPT, just like you would from the ChatGPT prompt. We start by telling Python we need to use OpenAI. We then put our API key into our code so we can interact. And for security reasons, you normally don't want to put your key right in your code. I'll show you how to put it in your operating system environment so your scripts maintain their security. But for a quick and dirty to get started, just hard code your API key here and then type your program. Everybody's heard of the Hello World program. And so I'm asking ChatGPT, what's the origin of Hello World? And now I've got my API call to ChatGPT. I'm telling it to use ChatGPT4. I'm sending it the message what is the origin of hello world and waiting for its response. When that response comes, I print the response and it's just as if I'm interacting with the chat GPT prompt, but I'm doing it from within my own program. So doing text generation is fun, but creating an image is a lot cooler. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we've got a script that's going to use DALI, the open AI image creator to create an image for us. Again, I'm using Python. I'm telling it to use OpenAI. And this time I'm getting my API key from the operating system environment. If you look at my script, you can't see my key. That's much more secure. And so I'm telling it the image that I want to create, a cream colored Labradoodle on a library wearing a smoking jacket. And I want a 1024 by 1024 image, create one of them. And when the program runs, ChatGPT will return to me a URL that I can use to access my image. I click on that URL and I see the image shown. Creating Python programs is cool and effective, but to allow other users to use our programs, we want to put it in the web and in the cloud. And so the book will show you how to create cloud-based AI applications. In this case, we're using computer vision. That's a subset of AI that allows the program to analyze an image. I run the program from a web page and tell it what I want, describe the image. I choose my file that I want it to describe, submit it. OpenAI does a computer vision analysis of the image and sends me back its response and it nailed it. It has a perfect description of the image. And so in 10 lines of code, we've done computer vision. So what are your next steps? You want to register at OpenAI and get your API key. You can come back to this video and see the source code and create your first couple programs. Then you'll want to order the book 
OpenAI and ChatGPT programming because there's 50 more applications for you to um, get started with and get ready to code. So I'm Dr. Chris Jamesa. I hope that you enjoy the book and this video.